Hello children, how are you? I am Sonalika Mishra and today we will do congruence of triangles. Now congruent figures are two figures whose shape and size are the same. So and congruent triangles, let's see. Here we have triangle A, B, C and triangle D, E, F. Triangle B, E, F. If vertex A falls on vertex C, vertex B falls on vertex E, vertex C falls on vertex F, then angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to angle F, and side AB is equal to Side D E, side D C is equal to side E F and side C A is equal to side F D. Then triangle A B C and triangle D E F are congruent. This is the symbol for congruent figure, congruent triangle. Now here there are six equalities three angles and three sides so two triangles are congruent if the angles and the sides of one triangle are equal to the angle and the sides of another triangle then we call them congruent. Now let us study about types of congruent. There are five types. One is side, side, side congruence rule. If two, tri uh, two triangles are congruent, if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of other triangle, then we say that the two triangles are congruent. Now here, Side AB is equal to side DE, side BC is equal to side EF, and side CA is equal to side FD. Then we say triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. Three sides of ABC, they are congruent with the corresponding three sides of angle DEF. So this is the Side, 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 congruence, rule. Then comes side, angle, side. Second one is side, angle, side. It means two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides and the included angle of the other triangle. Then the two triangles are congruent. Side, angle, side. Side is AB. Side AB is equal to side DE. Angle B is equal to angle E. And side BC is equal to EF. Then triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. Two triangles are congruent. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of the other triangle, then they are congruent by SAS congruence rule. Third one is angle side angle. Angle side angle. Two angles and the included side. Two angles and the included side. Here angle A is equal to angle D. Side AB is equal to DE and angle B is equal to angle E. Then triangle ABC is congruent with triangle DEF. Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included 
side of one triangle are equal to the two angles and the included side of the other triangle and the two triangles are congruent by SES congruence rule. Fourth one is angle angle side. Angle angle side. Angle angle side. Now here the included here it is not of the included side. Right? This is the difference. Two angles, angle A is equal to angle D, angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E and the non-included side. The included side is AB and DE but in angle angle side congruence rule, we take the non-included side. So BC is equal to EF. Then Two triangles are congruent. So two triangles are congruent if two angles and the non-included side of one triangle are equal to the two angles and the non-included side of the other triangle. Then we say that they are congruent. And the last one is right angle hypotenuse side. If one angle is 90 degrees, one angle is 90 degrees, then this congruence rule is applied. Triangle A, B, C, and triangle D, E, F, such that angle B and angle E, both are 90 degrees. Then the hypotenuse, A, C is equal to B, F, and one side. It can be BC or it can be AB. BC is equal to EF. We can say AB is equal to D. So, two triangles are congruent. Two right triangles are congruent if the hypotenuse of one triangle and side of one triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and side of other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent by the RHS congruence. Thank you.